everyone, Organic Quiche here. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. Sorry if the lighting goes in and out. I'm sitting in front of the window. He wouldn't say mirror. And so the sun is probably gonna go in and out of the clouds, but I prefer to use natural sun lighting. As you guys can see by the title, I'm actually gonna be talking about something a little bit different on my channel today on the Organic Quiche channel. I'm gonna be talking about school and if I regret going back to graduate school. Okay, if you don't know, I graduated with my master's degree in May, May uh, 5th, day before my birthday, 2018, and I got my master's in health service administration. So that was a huge accomplishment because not everybody is able to have a master's degree, and so therefore it was a very big accomplishment, and I was very, very proud of myself to have completed it with a pretty high GPA, might I add. I didn't graduate with honors, I was so close but I didn't, I didn't graduate with honors. Besides the point, a little bit of backstory. I got my undergrad bachelor's degree in psychology, May 2015. So between May 2015 and when I started my program, my master's program in January 2016, there was about a seven month gap between the two. I knew I definitely wanted to go back to school, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to focus on. If I wanted to focus on you know, psychology and furthering that to go to like clinical psychology to be a psychologist or even a psychiatrist if I chose that route. Oh, and then I started to think about maybe being a mental health counselor, which you just need a master's degree to do that. But then I did some research on it and I realized that that's not what I wanted to do. So I knew I loved organization and administration and I also knew I, I loved healthcare. I just didn't want to be on the clinical side of healthcare or the medical side of healthcare. I wanted to be more on the management administration side. And so when I saw the degree, health service administration, a master's program, I was like, okay, you know what, let me try that. I graduated in May, it is now October. 2018 so it's been some months since I graduated I wanted to do this video for my college students who are right now doing undergrad and you're wondering should I continue my education to the graduate level or even if you're in high school and you're wondering should I go and get my uh, master's degree or maybe you have kids and you are thinking about going back to school and you're wondering should I go ahead and get my master's degree um uh, okay if you were to ask me <laughs> if you were to ask me right this second with my finite knowledge of the future because I have no idea what God plans for me in the future as far as my education and my career goes if you were to ask me today do I regret getting my master's degree I would say yes I would say yes here's why I feel like <laughs> I'm about to get real ignorant I feel like it was a very expensive piece of time that I gave away. It was very expensive to get my master's degree and I could not obviously afford it out of pocket so I had to take student loans and so therefore now I have <sighs> a lot of student loan debt that I have to pay back and I'm just looking at the knowledge that I acquired versus the amount of debt I am in because of this degree and I'm just like I just don't believe it was worth it. I just, and this is my finite mind speaking, I just do not believe it was worth it. But I don't want this video just to be about my opinion on whether or not my degree program was worth it or so on and so forth. I actually wanna kinda of give you guys some advice when it comes to picking a degree and also when it comes to choosing whether or not you wanna to go to the graduate level, okay? Because I think it's very important to consider these things as you progress in your educational career. Now, for me personally, I, I feel like it was kind of a waste of time for me based on my life and based on my work career all through my life really I mean up until this point I have never worked a real nine-to-five I've never worked a job where I had to clock in clock out my parents were very very amazing when it came to me and saying that you know I don't have to bust my butt at work while going to school they were like just focus on school focus on school don't focus on anything else just focus on school and that's all you need to do was take care of everything else and so because I had the leeway to not work I never really did I had just got my bachelor's degree so in that seven month span I was looking for work trying to find work I couldn't obviously because I didn't have much work experience and so it was difficult for me to find work then and so then I started my graduate career then I went throughout my whole graduate career without working as well and so I got all this education but I have no experience to back it up and so what I'm saying is that if you are going to school for something specific where it takes your degree to attain the job that you're looking for make sure you are getting some experience under your belt 
do not make the mistake that I did where you just kind of went to school and even though my parents are great they still agree with me when it came to because I used to beg them to work you guys oh my goodness I used to beg them to let me get a job especially in high school but they're just like no no and I have Haitian parents so if you have Haitian parents and you grew up in my generation then you probably understand where I'm coming from but they're just like no no no, it's just not happening. But now they kind of regret it as well because it's just like that experience is so necessary when you get into the work field. Not having experience has really kind of bit me in the butt because now I have this huge degree that is sitting prettily on my wall along with the other two degrees that I have up there and I'm not working. And it's been difficult for me to find work. My whole point in making this video is, if you do want to go ahead and progress into higher level education, make sure you have experience under your belt. Make sure you start working at a receptionist desk or make sure if this is what, like if you wanna do healthcare administration or you wanna do some kind of management within hospital systems or within medical organizations, make sure you do front receptionist desk at a clinic or something that will give you experience. If you are in high school or if you are in undergrad and you're thinking about going back to or going and furthering your education to the graduate level make sure make sure you are gaining experience in this time because on your resume when they're looking at your education and your experience they want to see something there so get your foot in the door and any company that you can to get that experience you don't have any experience and they're looking at your resume like yeah okay I can see that you made a high GPA and you have all of this education but where is your experience how can I trust that you're gonna be able to do this job well. They don't know you, you get what I'm saying? Like they don't know you, they don't know your work ethic, they don't know that you'll be the best administrator or the best manager or the best whatever they don't know you and it takes that experience for them to be able to know okay she's worked at this place for seven years or she worked at this place for three years but at this place for another three years and they she has great recommendations from both of her managers like they won't know unless you have experience right now a whole separate part of that is is it worth it financially to get a graduate degree? My answer is yes, it is definitely worth it. If you have experience and you get the education, then I think that it is financially worth it to get a master's or a doctorate degree because the salary that you would be getting at that level um, with experience can easily compensate for the money that you have to put into your tuition and your books and you know just your college career in general so I do believe it's worth it and I do believe that my degree has value but because I do not have experience it's just kind of been you know a struggle bus for me so right in this moment I say yes but that's only because I didn't have experience going in. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but for right now, I just feel like, okay, I'm in all this money's worth of debt and I don't have anything to show for it but a certificate that hangs on my wall. But that could just be me being bitter. So yeah, I don't I don't want to, to harp on that. Also, think about this this way. When it comes to choosing a degree program for you to pursue, make sure, do your research to know whether or not this is a lucrative career that you can find yourself working in after you graduate. Make sure to also check, okay, are there certifications that I'm gonna need? Because with a mental health counselor, once you get that degree, you still have several certifications that you have to take and pay for and pass in order to be licensed to work as a mental health counselor. So don't just look at the degree. Look at all the certifications that you're gonna need with that degree and also if getting a job in this field is actually attainable after you graduate. Because some of these jobs are very, very hard to attain after you graduate. Like you, you might be spending years trying to find work and just so you really have to do your research check to see the salaries the, the average salaries for a person who get, has this degree and works in the field that you want to, to work in and make sure that the certifications are either none or very limited or something that you can at least think okay I can do it so that once you graduate you can do your certifications and then get the job that you're looking for but the biggest biggest thing is to make sure that you're gaining experience as you work your way there so that you don't end up like me a sitting duck having to start from the bottom and then work my way up even though I do have the master's degree so get your experience all right my camera's about to die so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up I hope this was helpful to you if it was glory be to God if you're not subscribed to my channel I don't know what you're waiting for go ahead and click that subscribe button so that we can become family also give this video a big big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with somebody you believe will enjoy it and then lastly if you want to follow me on social media all my handles will be down below in the video description box and also on the screen and I'll see you guys on the next one bye y'all I don't know if you know this but beautiful things don't need attention